Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking. It's great to be back. You're doing some more cooking videos for you guys and gals. Uh, what I've got here today is a beautiful little piece of beef tenderloin. I cut up beef tenderloin roast and I got a small one right here. Made a couple steaks and, and things, but I just tore down a tenderloin a minute ago. We're going to season it up for tonight. I've got some of this wonderful 30 minute marinade. And this stuff is absolutely fabulous. My bones sucking good. You can go to their Facebook page. Uh, just start 30 minute marinade on Facebook. You can hook up with those boys or you can get it locally here. I think Grills Mississippi sells it. Um, this is here in, in the Jackson area. And then uh, you can get it on the coast in a bunch of stores. Anyway, he's from Ocean Springs. This is a good, kind of sweet, spicy, not too much spice, but really good marinade steaks or whatever I'm gonna put that on here this is our marinade slash binder whatever you want to call it really really good all right now let's get that on all sides and we'll flip them okay make sure you get that oh dirty up that bottle by grabbing it look at this all right Go ahead and get that going. All right. Then we're gonna go some seasonings, some dry seasoning. I'll show you what I'm gonna use. I got this Boar's Night Out White Lightning Double Butter. I like to use it as a base layer. Man, stuff is good. Don't forget to get tips of the steaks. Right there. All right. Tip there. All right, then we'll get the other side. Get them all sides, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. You see that? That marinade, just like a binder with this stuff. It's probably about lunchtime now, noon. I'm gonna let this sit all afternoons in the fridge and just marinate, get real nice. Now, last but not least, we're going with Jim Ballard's secret seasoning here. It's gonna be our pat out right there. Need to get some more of this stuff. Oh yeah. This has a real good pop to it, y'all. Absolutely. Good stuff. I mean, this, man, this, this, this is some, this combination here I'm using, y'all. You're going to want to try this for sure. Get all sides of everything. Real good. All right. We'll set that aside to marinade. We'll get this little piece here. Okay, look at that. Alright, y'all. I'll be back to you in just a little bit after this marinade. We're getting on the cooker. See y'all later. Thanks again. Y'all uh, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in a bit. Y'all, all right, we're out here at the grill. We're rolling with a Weber kettle tonight, just something real simple. I just want to do a little indirect cook, um, and then we'll sear it off. You see, I've got it set up. Got all my coals on this side. I'm going to set the tenderloins over here. Do a little bit of indirect, check it about every five minutes or so, and then we'll roll with it. So let's get this beautiful beef on here. Again, we're just going to do indirect. Put it way over here. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the top of the kettle. In just a second, y'all. Coming right back to you. We're going to put the top of the kettle the openings facing right here. And I'm going to set a timer for about five minutes. And I'm going to check this stuff often because you don't want to overcook, y'all. No, no, no. We're we'll run that beautiful beef tin on. We're about to check these, flip these, all that good stuff. All right, so go ahead and give it a flip here. Just check the temp. Thermal works. On here, 57, 55, 53. All right, that's fine. 
I'm gonna check this little one. Let's take a temp on it. Alright, about 62. Okay. So, we'll go again with it. Go ahead and do another five minutes. We'll check them again, y'all. Gotta keep on going. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and check them again here. Imagine that small one's getting ripped. Ripped close. Alright. Good. Temp it. Oh yeah, 9691. That's where I'm wanting him. Alright, I'm gonna check this one here. Big one. Oh, same thing, y'all. Look. We're getting close. Done about the same time. Alright. Now we're gonna see her. Over here on this other side. I'm gonna show what I'm talking about. Okay, put this flat side down. Do that. About 30 seconds a side. So, Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. That's cool. Set timer. 30 seconds. Basically, now. that's what we'll do. We'll just sear it just like that. Get all sides seared. And then we'll remove it and let it rest. That's what we're looking for, y'all. Beautiful beef here. We're really excited about this. Because um, it's been a while since I've cooked a nice, the whole tenderloin or tenderloin roast, something like that. What we're looking for is about, you know, 125 or something like that in the end. We'll let it carry over into the 130s. You know, still want a good medium rare. Alexa, stop. So we'll flip that. Look at that there. Look at this bad boy right here. Look at that. Alexa, set a timer for 30 seconds. Second timer. 30 seconds. Starting now. All right, so we're still good there. We'll make sure we don't overcook anything. As we got, this is pretty much just going to be a two side sear on this one. This one I've got a couple more sides that we want to sear. Yep, you just want to watch over it. Like I said, Alexa, stop timer. Alexa set time for 30 seconds. I'm about to take this other one off. This is going to be good. Let's see that little side just a little bit. Maybe up right there. But uh, basically, I'm going to pull it. It's good enough. We still don't want it to overcook. I'm going to go get me a little tray. Put the football. I'm just going to let it rest a few minutes. Just like that for the remainder of this 30 second period, y'all. What y'all been up to? Y'all been cooking much? I have you know, been real busy with work now. I was trying to get a lot of plants in the ground, you know, get our yard looking good and everything. You know, spring popping out, flowers and all. So that's kind of what I've been doing. So, anyway, but we, uh, we're just going to do this. I may melt some butter here in a minute. Right, that'd be good to, uh, all right, that'd be good. That's y'all. This is bad boy here. Just one more side there. Oh yeah. Okay. Still reading. Not reading enough in that one, so that's fine. We'll let it continue, continue to see it. But I'm letting this other one rest. We don't want it to overcook. I'll come back to y'all in just a minute. So we're about to take this big one off, but right before we do that, I want to do something for you real quick. I want to baste it with a butter and garlic compound baste here. Kind of a compound butter. I take a little butter, take a little bit of garlic powder, take a little bit of Worcestershire, put that in a baste. It's a wonderful base for beef. Right before it's done. Mmm. Help it get this last little kiss of flavor. Alright. Yeah. 
Let me just get it all loaded up like that. Let it sear off just for a second. Let that, let that flame kiss it. Turn it. Those get all sides. And then we'll pull it right off of here. I will be ready to roll. Stuff is going to be delicious. Look there. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, mm, mm. Melt in your mouth. Y'all, this looks absolutely wonderful. Let me zoom in here just a little bit. I'm going to serve this up on a slight plate. Let's make it look so nice. Beef generally cooked like that. Move the slate plate over just a second. So we can just slice this. Let's take a look at it. Look at that, y'all. That is perfectly cooked beef tenderloin. I have not seen. I mean, look at that. Very, very <laughs> hard to get it that perfect. That sous vide just out there on the grill. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna kind of fan that out just a little bit. Just kind of like that. I'm gonna push it over to my slate plate just for presentation purposes. And this is absolutely beautiful. All right. Slate plate here. I'm gonna show y'all something. These slate plates, if y'all haven't seen them, I'll put a link to them in the description box, but really ups your game on presentation. I'm serious. Look at that right there. Kind of push that out. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful right there. Medium rare beef. Just what we're looking for. Now all we gotta do is give it a taste here in just a second. That is mighty, mighty fine. I love that. Also, let's get a taste of it. Look around, just like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is money. Oh, my gosh. The flavor that that 30 minute marinade gave it with the uh, Baldrin's Secret Season, that triple butter garlic. Oh my gosh, right, right, look at that crust on there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That was wonderful. Y'all, thank you so much. Tune in. Please like my channel, um, like my video, sub my channel. God bless y'all. Man, we gotta get to eating this stuff. It's wonderful. So I'm gonna have you a little bonus feature here on this video. Culture Master's brother did some what he called old school barbecue chicken today. He just brought me by a piece to try. Even though we had that wonderful steak, I still want to give his barbecue chicken a try because he was sending me videos of it all day. And I mean, he was basting in it. Everything else, I'm going to cut a plug out of it. i keep that skin. Oh man, look at that. That's some juiciness right there. Mmm, a little piece with that skin, just like that. Let's give it a try. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. I can't see everything. I'm gonna get chicken there. Look at that juice, y'all. That's great. Smoke flavor to it. Oh yeah, definitely like that. Corey did a great job on this chicken. We just had to include this little tasting in the video. Mm-hmm. Good stuff.